Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a really exciting Sunday gun day here on the backyard range and this is my first time talking to you from in front of the camera. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, leave me a like and a comment. Make me feel better about myself. You can also see why I call this channel Real Pork Chop and why they used to call me Pork Chop. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have uh, entered and won a spot in the FN FAL sweepstakes to purchase the original parts kit from Belgium. Uh, and it, it has come in. So it came with a certificate of authenticity signed by, signed by Chris Cole, the VP of sales for FN America. This is kit number 280 out of 400. Now these were issued to the gendarmerie in uh, Belgium. That's a military police force over there and they were more carried than shot. They probably did some training shooting but there weren't really any battle situations going on with that. So in the parts kit, it came with an issue bayonet and guys these parts have been used you can tell they've been banged around this was somebody's somebody's service weapon uh, and it was treated as a tool and they were taken care of but they're scratched up and it, this is original stuff this is a, a functional piece of history one of the my, more iconic battle rifles of all time uh, it came with a with a sling came with the hand guard and you can tell somebody walked around with this and just scratched on it and beat on it and moved it around dropped it around we got the lower, there's a stock and the trigger mechanism. We got the rear side on there, which is not more of a little peephole, but you can see all the scratches and all the history. And you can, you know, you can imagine being up on this. Uh, some pretty, some pretty iconic wars happened with that. We run in Africa, Australia, the Israelis had a version, Latin American countries, Canada. The U.S. would have had a version, but we backed out and ended up with the M14 and then left a lot of really poor countries with a large caliber where they couldn't back off like we did and move to the 5.56. It also comes with all the parts to put it together that you can legally ship, which is the max of 10 parts. Uh, the rest of it can be put together with parts from DS Arms. They actually, doing a little research, and they actually make a kit that has the gas piston, the semi-automatic only, Boo ATF, uh, selector switch uh, the mag and the belgian style flash hider i'm going to run this gun uh, as a full traditional style fal uh, just like it would have been carried uh, using the 21 inch barrel from ds arms and they also have the upper receiver so i read i'm reading on there that uh, fn sent them pictures of how the upper receiver is marked for the gendarmerie and they have marked it the same way so i'm going to put this together and have a, a functional piece of history in the bag we've got we've got all of the parts we've got the gas block you can see where they sawed the barrel off to ship it across and it's got everything in here carry handle spring block nut your bolt group charging handle everything's in here that they can legally ship you to put it together and have a have a functioning weapon with some assistance from ds arms and a gunsmith so like i said i plan on acquiring all the, all the parts over the next several months and uh, getting everything together and i want to i want to put it together and have a functional piece of history so this would be a couple episodes on the sunday gun day as i acquire the parts i'll show them to you let you see everything uh, and today, so without a functional gun, it's kind of hard to dump some rounds, but I do have another FN that we can dump some rounds with, the old 15 Tac 3 We're shooting M80, SS109 green tips. We've got 30 rounds. And by the way, y'all, please use protection. Hearing protection, eye protection. You don't want to lose either one of those. So let's go ahead and dump 30 rounds. Hope we had some fun today. Y'all hit me up next time.